This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. Okay, so I'm standing here with who am I standing here with? Centurion. <laughs> do, you, do you have a real name that you give JP, out? JP, JP. Okay, JP. Yeah. Uh, should I just call you JP from Keene? Or yep, JP from Keene, yeah. Okay, uh, and you have uh, an interesting idea for uh, weighing in on the side of the Robin Hooders. Tell me what that is. Um, I filed a motion to intervene and to be added to the uh, Robin Hood case. So you want to be charged, sort of. I, I want to be added to the lawsuit, yes, as a defendant, yeah. And what will that? How will that benefit you to be on the, in the government's crosshairs? Well, I, it benefits me um, because I want to cross-examine and use the Constitution because I know the Constitution extremely well, and I want to cross-examine on why they kept Pete Pete Air from Coplock.org on the case, and I'm doing it specifically because of Pete's case because I've been Robin Hooded more more than Pete has. Pete's never been Robin Hood. He picked up the radio twice, and their argument is, well, the conspiracy is he used to he used the radio twice, and under oath, it, you know, they kept him on and denied his request to be removed from the case. So, in retrospect, I guess if I get added, you know, they can back up that argument because under under the conspiracy heading that they're trying to use against Robin Hood and trying to bring, you know, the free all free keeners involved in that mix. But if they deny me, they must let Pete go under that same denial, under their argument of the denial. Right. So, you're, you're saying that your level of involvement is about the same as Pete's. More. My level of involvement was more because I've actually been Robin Hooded. I, I you know, I, I never put any things in the vid you know in, in the uh the meters but i followed them around you know i got videotape of them i've actually conversed with you know the uh the parking enforcement ladies more than once and you know at the same time i was cop locking at the same time so you know you know it kind of benefited my my cause because i'm not a free state i'm, I'm strictly cop .org, but well, yeah, and that's one thing that's interesting with you is that I, I've never even gotten the impression that you were a libertarian. You know, we've met before, and you're you're in favor of certain military interventions and so forth. So you're not even necessarily thinking like us, but you still, I guess, have some concerns about the authorities. I, I absolutely have a, a problem with authority, and it basically goes around the eighth article of the New Hampshire State Constitution. I believe public officials are abusing the public and going after them, um, like the Robin Hood, is irritates the living daylights out of me is something needs to be done. Well, and, and you know they don't follow the Constitution, though, right? Oh, I, I do. I, I know. I know. I mean, just, just the lawsuit against Robin Hood of Keene violates three constitutional rights right there, press, speech, and expression. So all three are being violated just in that alone. But to hear John, you know, John Meyer ended up being their, uh, their defense counsel was extremely great. But Pete, if I get at it, I'm going to be representing myself because I personally want to cross-examine them and find out, you know, what they think of this 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 conspiracy that's going on against the city of Keene. And, and it's re it's absolutely ridiculous. And I think anybody that went Robin Hood, it should actually file a motion to intervene. You know, not necessarily... Be anybody when the authorities come after you for being a Robin Hooder, you mean? Yes, yes, because the, their argument, their motion to object to Pete being removed was it's got to be a conspiracy because he used the radio twice to say, oh... Here is a lady from bargain enforcement, or here's a guy from law. Here's, here's Alan Givitz or whatever driving down, you know, waving to me. So he's out, he's over here near the post office. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean. Against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. 
although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.